1.3 million people followed them on Instagram and they were the public's vote to go forth this year in Sweden. But it was a tough competition, wasn't it? Because Lorraine, who won it in 2012 for Sweden, came back to represent them again. And she has a formidable fan club. And Marcus and Magnus just missed out. But they sang a wonderful, uplifting song called Air. And don't we all need to breathe with all that's going on in the world, a bit of fresh air? Well, these two are going to supply you with a couple of minutes of that. I found, to be honest, the competition extremely exciting, extremely tough in Sweden because the standard was so, so high compared to other competitions around Europe. I have to say Norway, it's just your act, Marcus and Martinus, just missed out. And Sweden, you missed out as well. But I think what swayed it, to be honest, was the fact that Sweden wanted somebody Swedish. And the two twin boys are from Norway. Now, both countries, Scandinavian music, Nordic music, are all under the one big umbrella, musically. And there's no bitterness, no upsets, no... But... I do feel in my heart of hearts, it just went towards Sweden wanted a Swedish act and person to represent their country. It'd be more authentic because there was no malice, there was no badness in the competition. It was fiercely fought. And if you go on YouTube and you watch the finals, I'm just going to bring up the name of the, I'm sure it's the Melly Fest, but I just want to double check my facts that it was the Melly Fest, yes, 2023 for this year. Melly de Fest de Lin, to represent Sweden for their act or group to go forth and represent them in the Eurovision in Liverpool. That's coming very soon. I'm quite nervous and excited, to be honest, because the standard is extremely high and diverse. It's going to, it's caused a lot of controversy in some you know, of the countries. And I've already explained that in previous. The whole of Poland wanted Jan to represent them. And they did, he didn't get it. And there was a lot of anger. 90,000 people signed a petition because one of the judges called him, he was too demonic. He was a demon and it couldn't represent Poland. And there was a lot of corruption this year in the voting system and the judges had their say and they favoured an act who's not going to win. I feel Poland will be at the very bottom of the Eurovision this year and justifiably so for the corruption and for the anger they've caused the people who vote and make the money on the TV station. But when we come <clears throat> to a competition like the Melifest and we see the standard of people that wanted to represent Sweden. It was, there's no other competition around Europe that surpassed it, let me tell you. Absolutely phenomenal final. A month ago I was biting my nails, but I left in a month so other people can have their reactions and then I'll come forward and give you a bit of bio about these two young, absolutely incredible artists. Again, they're called Marcus and Martinus and they are the pop phenomenon coming from Scandinavia in recent years. They, re they are huge. By the age of 18, the twins from Norway already established as successful artists in large parts of Europe. Their catchy pop music, magnetic stage presence, which you are about to see, and infectious music, which you are about to hear, is impossible not to like. Whichever the grown fan base, whatever ages, they seem to unify people. And they seem to bring people together to say, wow, they have that wow factor. The fan base of M Emers all over the world agrees with that statement. The story of Marcus and Martinus began in 2002 and raised in the small town of Trofors in the northern Norway. They enjoyed singing, entertaining from an early age. At the age of nine, they wrote their first song called To Drape Van and entered... <coughs> the Norwegian singing contest MGP Junior in 2012. The boys charmed all of Norway and ended up winning the contest live on national TV. The debut album, Hey, Hey or H-E-I, it could be Hey or He, included the massive hit song, Elektris, and holds the record for staying the longest on the top 
10 on the Norwegian charts with more than 66 coherent weeks. Oh my God, wow. As their fan base grew in Norway and abroad, Marcus and Martinus released their first English album named Together. The album marked the start of their new era for their career and was followed by the first ever arena tour, the Together Tour. It sold out arenas in both Norway, Sweden, Denmark and Finland. In 2017, they won the Artists of the Year at the prestigious awards Spellman, the Norwegian Grammy, as the youngest artist ever for the impressive year they've had. Their third album, Moments, came in 2017 and followed Marcus and Martinus' first ever European tour called the Moments Tour, with 26 shows in 14 countries. Later, in 2018, they got to tour together with their big idol, Jason Derulo, on his Two Sides tour throughout Europe. Touring and meeting old and new fans are amongst Marcus and Martinus' definite favourite things to do. They hold no boundaries, by the way, their love for all ages. And people of all ages have such a love and respect for them in return. It's wonderful. And on October the 2nd, 2020, the first single was released. The brand new single called Love You Less was a catchy pop song that mirrored the young artist's natural growth, both musically and personally, and was written by Aaron Weem, Santiago Rodriguez, and Julimar Santos. Their motto is don't give up your dreams because soon they might come true. I feel because Lorraine, Lorraine was in the competition, it kind of pushed them aside. But let's be fair to these two Norwegian powerhouses in their own right. They have a stage present, lyrically they can write incredibly great songs. And I felt in my heart of hearts this should have been the song to represent Sweden. It should have been. Let's be fair. Lorena's experience, she has a fantastic fan club. She's a respected artist. She's phenomenal on stage. Tick, 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 tick. But Marcus Martin has deserved their moment to shine. Lorena's already had hers. And I feel this song is more of a festival uplifting song than the seriousness of Tattoo, which Lorraine is representing Sweden in Liverpool this year. It's just my personal opinion, that's all. And as a musical reactor, I love both sets of artists, Lorraine as well as Mar Marcus and Martinus. Why do I love these young guys too much? Welcome to my channel for 2023. I'll be featuring a lot of the past and present music from these two guys because of exactly what they bring to the stage. You decide, should they have really represented Sweden this year? I think yes, and they would have attracted a much younger audience as well. But I wish Lorraine all the very, very best. But still, I favoured these two for this reason. You just like the ocean I got a million emotions I'm breathing on the water Your love is deeper than the weather We go higher and higher Keep flying and flying We crash and we burn We keep trying and trying We higher and higher Fight fire and we fire We never give up we got each other Cause we're not with you Ooh. 
deserve all that applause they were screaming before they even got on stage did you notice that the fans were oh were so enthused and so was i guys <laughs> i have to say there's no way to a dance record like that i could have held back and sat and went mm, that was lovely mm, they, they're very cute mm. although cute is not a phrase i would use at my age towards two fresh looking artists i i don't know but they are the sensational twins who got most of the teenage screams as you've heard at the dress rehearsal that friday at Lickenpling, and they got the overwhelming majority votes for the readers of the poll who should and they were destined to win heat three of the medal fest in festival of 2023 we are talking today about high norwegian superstars marcus and martinus had just missed out just missed out i feel it's going to be your loss sweden and i'll tell you why because repetition in a competition with artists never happens number one sweden i felt wanted to be have an alignment with the swedish act and it favored lorraine because she's swedish and regardless of close ties between the countries finland scandinavian countries you know like Norway all of that it's a case of they were from Norway I just feel that edged it in the judges because they got the votes from the people they got the votes from the fans they got the votes from the public telephoning it was the judges that turned towards Lorene for those reasons and again in these competitions I'm starting to get very angry that the judges have the last say when the people are phoning and making so much money for the TV companies but we'll get into the lyrics of this wonderful wonderful duo Marcus and Martinus that breathes a fresh a breath of fresh air sorry into my channel definitely definitely I'm just so enthused for them they're young they're fresh they make me feel young and their music's fabulous so are the lyrics for two young fellas, you have to be congratulated on not repetitive lyrics, just lyrics that mean something. Because it begins, you're like the ocean, I've got a million emotions, I'm breathing underwater, your love is deeper than no other. Beautiful poetry in motion, beautiful words that captivate you. And it's about love, and it really is an expression of how I feel. I think it's semi-biographical, it's about the two brothers love for each other getting through every stage of their career their lives together they do admit they like um they are they're the best of friends they like the best of friends they think alike all of that i think um is it marcus is just in 1.3 inches higher than his twin brother they don't like onions they don't like pineapple on their pizzas i i was reading fun facts about them and somebody said quite uh, coolly why should we buy your albums uh, we don't understand the music and they said but why not because we understand the bull and I won't mention the second part because it's a profanity word and YouTube don't like that but if we can understand your bull and I'm sure the rest of you can fill in the gaps um, why, why don't you buy our album so I was reading those comments and what they've said, and I think they're just hilariously funny. They know how to stand up, stand up for each other. And to have successful albums, world tours, oh, I just feel Sweden. You missed out. You missed out. You would have been battling for the top position. I have in my top five, France is going to win it hands down. I don't think so, because now at the moment, we've unfortunately got politics, and Macron's stance in the nuclear situation affecting 
a lot of people how they look at France at the moment. But if we keep it musical, Latara is the most perfect woman to bring eloquence and panache and beauty to the competition. You boys have brought a breath of fresh air. You brought dance music to me on a superficial level because I'm not used to such great dance catchy music. I've hit the repeat button in the last month, I kid you not, at least a hundred times on that on that particular track because I think it's so infectious, so joyous. Your performance is great. I love the way you get so enthused, guys, at the very end. You jump up and down and go, woo. And it's like I'm breathing underwater. Well, I can understand that when it comes to love for you two guys because it must be like, wow, people really take us in and they love us. Of course we do. We go higher and higher, they said, keep flying and flying, we crash and we burn. We keep trying and trying. That is what you two have done. That's biographical. That's about your pop career to date. You have been burned by the critics. You've been put down for this baby-faced thing going on. I've read different comments in, di in different researches and I've thought, how cruel. But sometimes, guys, here's a lesson I've learned in life, and your parents will say this. Sometimes you've got to be cruel to be kind because, as you've just said, you keep trying and trying, and this proves it. You don't stop. I would go again for Norway. I would go forward again next year. I would, guys, for Sweden. Decipher which one. Re uh, go forward for Norway. And I reckon without Lorene and an established star, you're going to represent and you're going to win hands down Eurovision. That's my prediction for next year. If you go forward, guys, I hope your fans on fandom and everything because I'm so enthused. I just think that is the best dance record of music I've heard on Eurovision ever. And we continue. Because when I'm with you, I need no air. Take my breath away. Now I don't care. I can breathe without air. Without air. It's a lovely twist in it that goes from brotherhood to love to how the people, how they feel, I think, about their fans. That's For me, that's about their fans. They breathe because of their fans. They're in love with their fans. They feel they can do anything because they have such a solid group of people around them. And that's dedicated to the fans. So it's gone from biographical to thanking the fans. And then it says, take my breath away. Now I don't care. I can breathe without air. And I think it's a hit out of the record companies and the other people and the critics who have always put them in a box and said, go on, keep trying to suck us dry. We'll always come back breathing. And there's one thing about Nordic country people from Finland, from Norway, and I know this, they are strong-willed people. And the great thing about com mus being musical and having that group of people around you, they stay for life. So they'll always have that breathing. Whether If they can't breathe, others will breathe for them. It continues, I'll be in a heartbeat because I love the way you love me, love me, love me, love me. And again, it reverts, they're going on different, there's many layers to this. And I think they're going then on the personal, who's loved them, the people in their lives they've been in love with. And it's a reflection of that. That love has fed me. Thank you, it's a thank you. And then it says about their career, we go higher and higher, fire with fire, we'll never give up as long as we got each other. And that goes back to the biographical, it goes back to the two of them. And then it says, because when I'm with you, I need no air. I don't need no air. Take my breath away. Now I don't care. I don't need no air. Because when I'm with you, I need no air. So they, they are in homage of each other, saying, when I've got you and you've got me, we don't need anybody else. We can love, love the fans, everything. But as long as we've got a solid relationship still as brothers doing this and loving it, and look, at the end of that, you can see they truly love what they're doing. They know they'll survive anything that comes their way. Because there is another old saying, two heads are better than one, always. And then it says, I can breathe that out of air. You're, you're my, you're my air. I can breathe without air. And then it goes, I can breathe without air. You're just like the ocean. I've got a million emotions. I'm breathing underwater. I can breathe without air. So it goes from them back to the fans, back to the people that's loved them saying thank you i'll always be able to breathe it's a homage to all of you fans all of the fans of marcus and martinus it's a homage to those around them it's a homage to each other it's a beautiful song breathing air in a time when we need to breathe love reacting hope you've enjoyed it 
bye for now guys you'll be back on my channel very very soon marcus martinez i don't need to wish you luck you've got all the luck in the world following you take care